in this module we look at the lessons mendel learned from his experiment which we talked about in the previous module here's the cross again i have shown you on the full slide he noticed that wrinkled c trait was not expressed in f1 generation however it reappeared in the f2 generation mendel concluded that the spherical c trait was dominant on the wrinkled c trait because the spherical c trait had masked the effect of the wrinkled c trait mendel worked with his data in mathematically and he looked at the statistics and concluded that p plant must have two units of inheritance for each particular character and the offsprings got one trait from each parent i will explain that with the help of this diagram also additionally mendel concluded that during the gamete production that is the production of pollen or the ovaries or the eggs one of these pair units is given to the gamete not both but just one of them and resulting zygote contained two particles for the same trait and since the zygote was the product of fusion of two gametes here on the screen you can see the if we interpret this data that by this formula if we say the spherical c trait is the capital s then the parent or p1 the spherical seed plant would be we can say it had two particles remember we don't know that these were the genes at that time two particles of capital s the wrinkled state is the small s cell so wrinkled seed plant had two small s cells when we cross them as we have said that one unit comes from both parents so the resulting f1 plant would have capital s small s so that is why since the capital s is dominant that is why all the seeds were spherical and none of them were wrinkled of course today we know that unit of inheritance or the genetic particle is basically gene today that's what we call them also i would like to point out that different forms of the same gene are referred to as an allele so capital s and small s in f1 plant are two alleles they are different from each other in this case they could be similar or different also additionally since we can see it on our screen that f1 plants have capital s and small s the phenotype their appearance is is spherical seeds however they do contain a gene for the wrinkled seed also which became apparent in f2 generation that although the f1 plants had all spherical seeds however the f2 generation the trait for the wrinkled seed again reappeared it was the at the ratio of 1 to 4 but it reappeared we can also summarize this in a in a simpler way using a punnett square which is which is displayed on the screen so we write male gametes on one side of the square female gametes on the other side of the square and then we see what type of different combinations we can make so in when we cross capital s small s with capital s small s these traits will separate that was the objective of mendel's experiment to see whether the traits separated or the genetic unit or the particle separated or not if they separate then we can have two types of gametes from both these plants because they have identical they have same gen genotype capital s small s so they can produce two types of eggs and sperms one type will contain the capital s the other type will contain the small s so when we make the combinations in this punnett square you can see that we can have two different types of seeds one with spherical shape and the other with wrinkled shape please also notice that there are two seeds which are which contain one small one capital s and one small s two of them since we have said that spherical trait is dominant it is masking the effect of the recessive trait which is the small s 
therefore our ratio here is 3 is to 1 3 dominant and 1 recessive we will continue our discussion of mendelian genetics in the following module